This is Professor Hildebrandt. I'm going to work out an example uh, calculating price elasticity of demand. And I'm going to do this slightly different um, than what you saw in the PowerPoint presentation and what you saw from the textbook. This is from Chapter 4 on elasticity. Again, this is an alternative method okay, for calculating your price elasticity. And see, uh, to see how it's different, I want you to compare this to the pizza example on slides 6 through 10. I'm going to use those same numbers. So here is the equation that I'm going to use to calculate the price elasticity of demand. So start this, the main equation is right here, equation one. So our elasticity is equal to the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price. Now this is the same equation that the textbook starts with, but how they go about calculating those things is a little different. I happen to think this method is easier for students but you can, as you can see, I'm going to get the same answer, so either method um, is just fine. I think the best way to do this is to break it down and to work the top part of the equation separately from the bottom, and then once you have an answer for A and for B, we'll then bring them back together. So to calculate the percentage change in quantity demanded, it'll be equal to Q2 minus Q1, divided by Q1 plus Q2. And for this equation, Q1 is the original amount of quantity demanded. Q2 is the new amount of quantity demanded once price has changed. Equation B for our percentage change in price is very similar. P2, the new price, minus P1, the original price, divided by P1 plus P2. So now let's see what this looks like with the actual pizza example uh, from those PowerPoint slides in the textbook. So again, we're going to calculate our percentage change in quantity demanded divided by our percentage change in price. So let's start with the percentage change in quantity demanded and our new quantity demanded was 11. It originally was 9, so we have 11 minus 9 over 9 plus 11. 11 minus 9 would give us 2. 9 plus 11 is 20. And so we would get an answer of 1 over 10 for the percentage change in quantity demanded. We'll now do the same thing, a very similar thing to calculate that percentage change in price. Our new price is $19.50. Our original price was $20.50. And we'll add them together on the bottom. 1950 minus 2050 is minus one. 2050 plus 1950 is 40. Important thing to note with this equation is we're going to take the absolute value. So that means if either portion, uh, when you're working these out, comes out to be negative, you're just going to make that positive. So we find that our percentage change in price is 1 over 40. Okay? And again, our percentage change in quantity demanded is 1 over 10. And it's hard to see. There it is. Okay? So now again, we're going to put these together. So our elasticity equals 110 over 140. And you can think of this bar here as a divide sign. Okay, So I could rewrite this equation as 1 over 10 divided by 1 over 40. Remember your basic rules of math. When we divide by fractions, we simply multiply by the reciprocal. And for the reciprocal, you're just going to flip or invert that fraction. So we'll have 1 over 10 times 40 over 1. 1 times 40 equals 40. 1 times 10 equals 10. Our price elasticity of demand for pizza is 4. Again, if you'll reference from the PowerPoint slides numbers 6 through 10, you will see a different method, slightly different equations, but the same answer.